Flower and plant arrangements are a great way to decorate your home, but it can get costly to go to a professional. So why not do it yourself and save some money? Kathleen Yoshinaga with the Hawaii Floriculture and Nursery Association joins us with some tips and a demonstration in this week's segment of Get Dirty. Good morning. Hi, happy March. Happy March. Can you believe it already? <laughs> This year is flying by. Okay, Kathleen, we're okay. talking flower arrangements today. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited because everyone knows they can get expensive, but can you really save a lot of money with well, doing it yourself? Of course. And then flower arrangements are actually simple to make. Uh, they just take a little practice. A little practice. So let's practice. Okay, we're practicing you? right now. What let's do we have in front of us? Well, in front of you, you have a dozen red roses. Beautiful. Some lemon, lemon leaf, or also known as salal greens and also a clean vase. Mm -hmm. And what you start with is your vase. You would fill it normally with water, add a little bit of floral preservative if you like, and then we'll, but I'm not gonna put water in it for okay. today. I don't wanna spill here. <laughs> okay, so let's start with our greens. Okay. You wanna put a bunch of greens in your hands because we're gonna make uh, the arrangement in your hand mm -hmm. first and then put it in the vase. Okay. So you wanna make Put some greens in your hand and bunch it. Your right hand, yeah, we're gonna hold everything with our left, right? Okay. You might wanna go straight. And then from there, once you got a little bunch in, crisscross the rest of some of these greens so that the stems are all crisscross in there in your hand. Okay, and why do you okay. wanna crisscross? Because them? you're forming a grid. So when you put it in the vase, and the flower stems will be anchored in that grid so it won't move around. So is this what you mean by crisscross? I do one this yeah. way and then one yeah. kind of exit? The, right. Okay, you kind like of, that. I see how I just kind of got okay. it all around. And you're creating a nice little bouquet right there by, see, my base of my hand here. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay. okay. So do that. You have a little more than me. All right. So then once we're here. Okay. And now add crisscross your some more leaves. Why don't you crisscross a little more here? Okay. I'm not crisscrossing enough. Yeah. And then you want to put it right there, right there by your opening of your hand so make it easier okay is that better or no <laughs> okay but well, you gotta add we're gonna add the roses in next so you gotta okay. make some room ready okay now after you do that once you get your bouquet here i don't think conformly open it up and loosely let in four of the t one of the tallest roses straight in the middle go up straight just right down in there Okay, and we're putting them through in the top, so yeah. we're not just no. stacking them on how no. we were with the other ones. Right. Okay. So you just want to go straight in the middle here. <laughs> I thought I grabbed a rose. I just grabbed some more leaves. Okay, there we go. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we got four there. Add a couple more, for another four maybe around it. Now they don't have to go straight down, but just kind of now angled to the side. Okay, and if you are making your own. Mm -hmm. Where, if you are trying to save money, where then would you go to buy your roses? You could buy it at a florist, you know, your neighborhood florist, or you could go to Costco or the Safeways mm -hmm. market. And, and they sell just the single roses? Uh, no, you would. Or yeah, the they'll sell. Bundle of the, just they'll roses. usually sell a bundle, right? Perfect. But you'd want to do, you can do the, this is the same technique you would do with any. I feel like I'm doing pretty good, Kathleen. I'm okay, good. Not to toot my own horn, but this is looking pretty. I think it's okay. just the roses. I don't know if it's actually my technique. Oh, Yours is a little better than mine. And then do you okay. ever add more greens to this, or do you kind of just can. build on what? We're, we're building. You can build on to this. Okay. So I'm going to add some. I'm, okay, I got about eight or nine in mine so far, and okay. I'm going to stop it and use the rest of it once I get it in the base. So here's the base, and now I'm going to just give it all your flower stems, okay. a trim. Oh, trim them. Okay, once you get them in, right? Right. Do you make them all the same length, or do you just kind of well, trim them I'm each? going, see, right by my hand, I'm going to just trim it about an inch above the table. Okay. So mm -hmm. that I know that all my stems will hit the bottom of it, and I'm going to trim everything here. Beautiful. Okay, so from there, then, okay. you stick it in the base. In the base. All right, let's see where mine is. Mine okay. actually is a pretty good height. I'll just do okay. it. Okay, right then... Oh. And then there you go, and there's yeah, Kathleen's the... bouquet. Okay, that no, 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 no. I'm going to add the finishing touches, which is the last roses that you can now adjust and fill in the spots. To adjust. Oh, and I definitely need to fill in, but... Okay. Hey, that's really pretty. So, All right, well, thank you so much, Kathleen, for these great go. tips. Again, saving money by having beautiful floral arrangements.
Well, at least Kathleen's is beautiful. I need work. I need work. Okay, I'll fill this in while we go to break. But so much more when we come back on Take Two. Stay with us.